and I'm about to, okay, so we are recording everybody, so if you don't want to be seen, <laughs> make sure you're not on there. Um, I, I'm so, super excited. I found that I was using lots of binders. We're binder girls. How many other people are binder girls? Oh, yeah. We love our binders. It's just something about being neat and organized, right? And um, I found that I, in my last office, I had the shelves right above me, and I had thick binders. And I was always pulling down thick binders. Well, I don't have those shelves anymore. And I found that I had binders for everything and I was just losing pieces of paper and I was just sticky notes all the time. And, and I have notebooks all over and, and I, I just didn't have a system. And I, and I don't like losing things. I don't like spending time, as I say, wasting time looking for things. It just, but drives me nuts. What about you? Does it drive you nuts as well? So, and, and then I decided like with our new found freedom, I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to do things. What am I going to do? Take all my binders with me. Suzette is sitting here listening tonight because she's traveling and she took parts of her binders and just took out the stuff she wanted. So she'd have it with her. Well, like that doesn't, she's got to go back and put it back into binders and you know, things are just getting lost. And so I thought, I don't know, I was talking maybe to Lexi or, or Kara, and I said, you know, I'll be happy to share with you what I put together. And you notice this is this, this is a little one. This is just a little binder, it's not a big binder. I can put this into any, um, you know, bag with me. I can put it in my, in my um, carry-on, something like that. It's always with me. And I, I can tell you it's, it's not perfect. It is a work in progress. It is something that evolves as our business evolves. So don't say, oh, I have to do it this way. <laughs> if this is, you know, something else speaks to you, then let it speak to you and what, how you do things. I'm a paper girl. I, I, now I work with a few key areas. I mean, this and my phone are just really important to me. So with that being said, um, I also want, that's my first disclaimer, disclaimer that this will be changing. You know, it, it just evolves. Number two is I want you to keep it simple. If you complicate it, and you have too many things to do, we're not gonna remember the system. We're not gonna do the system. So I tried to really just have everything in one spot and keeping it simple, okay? So to begin with, in the very front, if you notice, you can go right up the tab on the back office and you can print off all the key things that are happening for the month. And I have underneath here previous months. If I want to look to see what we did somewhere else, I can go into one spot. Right. This is always up here. I am focusing on from the Cancun to the Elite 2020. It gives me my dates for things. I don't try to keep it all up here because God only knows my brain. <laughs> you guys know how many doors and windows are open at any given time. So anytime that I can just have a quick reference, that's where I start. On the inside of my binder is anything that is current that I have to work on. Um, I know that we're doing a golf outing and I haven't filled out the form yet. You know, that is something I have to do. That's sort of like my to-do list. Um, I have some copy that I'm, I'm rewriting. This is right here so I can do it. So that's, those things change out. If I had a, I just took this one out. I had a bill to pay. It's, it's in here. So this is like my everyday to-do stuff. So First tab, you guys, is for me my key information, the stuff that I'm going to all the time. I, in four and a half years, have not memorized our price list. I know. Haven't. You know what? I don't need to. I have it on my phone, and I also have it in my binder. So if somebody needs an order, if I'm putting, if I'm putting together um, a mix and match, I can. It's a quick reference at any given time. That's one of the key things that I do. My other key thing is my comp plan. Right, we're referring to our comp plan all the time. So that is the second key feature. It is so key, you guys, that I also have it on the back of my binder. This is a, this is a double pocketed binder, so I can rip it out if I need to. It can be either anything. You guys, if somebody's typing, if you wouldn't mind just muting, that would be helpful. So um, to me, those are crucial things. There's one other piece of information that typically should go in the spot, but I have it in a um, fold, a holder, because I pull it out all the time, and so therefore I have it in the back, because it's bigger than most things. But this is our product pack options. 
I pull this out. I also, I could have copies of it so I can pull it out and give it to somebody if they want to think it through, something like that. I can text them as well, but I have this in the back. So, so it, it typically should go in my, my, in my opinion in this key information, but it's too, it sticks out too much so it doesn't. Um, you're gonna see I have tabs at the top. I also have tabs on the side for various reasons. This one has a little cute little, um, what is this called, like a tassel? Because, because I really wanna see it very most often. And this is my vision sheet. My monthly vision sheet, you guys, is in, the, in our files. This is where you're prepping for the whole month. You know, you're, we've gone over this. We just went over this sheet, right? Any questions about the vision sheet? This is some, a breathing document. You're writing down the people you meet. You're writing down your market partners that you're working with. You're keeping an overview of your business on one piece of paper. Okay, you know what your goals are. Um, my goal is $3,000 worth of personal volume. Well, by the 15th, I should have 1,500, right? I should have half of that by the end of that first week. So if I, that's my goal and I look at my numbers, you understand how important that is. And that brings us right to the second part. This little tassel is connecting my, um, my first quarter information and my quarterly information report. My quarterly information report has every day, I open this up as soon as I sit down at my computer or my phone and I document with my PV, my GV, and my DV is. The only other thing that um, I want to track on the bottom of the month is I want my total downline count. I just want to know where it's going and how quickly. It doesn't have too much um, um, significance in terms of the big picture, but it's just, a, it's just a pulse. It's just, you know, we want to know how much bigger we're going to get or where we want to go on an average of how many people we need to bring in. So you see, marking this information, and there's a sheet for next quarter and the following one. So everything for the year is right here. My goal is to do this every single day. I don't always. It's okay. But I, when I do it, and I know Suzanne, she does it, I can see right now that my PV, GV, and DV is already ahead of where I was last month, tomorrow, by significant amounts in all three categories. Well, that shows me growth, right? I know where I'm going and I know where I need to be. Anybody else using this form right now? I don't use your, I don't use that form, but I do the same thing. Just, Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I whatever, whatever you can, if you do put it in your calendar or something like that. I'm a bullet journal girl, so I keep all that stuff in a bullet journal. So. One of the things I do like is I can see then across you know, and then compare the numbers. Yeah, I, I have it broken that way. I just don't, don't have that sheet. That's nice. And we can get you, I don't, I don't know. So I think I got this from Suzanne. If you're on, I know you're on, Suzanne. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, I made that. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Kudos to of you. Of course you did, Suzanne. I love this little sheet. So um, my next tab is my social media tab. So some of the things I have in here, the first thing is our tracker. Another great Suzanne tool here. Um, so I have the whole week lined up and it, it is morning, lunch, and after dinner, it's separated. I, and we, we will share all our forms, but this way every day I can see, did I make my birthday post? Did I post something on my personal page, on my group pages? You know, did I send my Facebook messages to my prospects? It just focuses on all the activity you need so if you're sitting down for an hour and you're doing your work, boom, 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 right? And you will start to see that the more boom, boom, booms you have, <laughs> the more consistency you have, the more your numbers are going to go up, the more you're going to have engagement, et cetera, et cetera. It, it, was, it was definitely going to be a correlation. So that's the first thing I have in my daily social media tracker. The second section is for our planning for social media. So instead of every day going, huh, what am I going to write about? We want to plan our businesses. We want to be batching our content. We want to be batching our photos. And so this is going to help you. You might decide that, I know that Christy, she does every day of the week. I do this too. Every day of the week is something different. If Monday is mindset and Thursday is a throwback and you know whatever you 
overview. You don't have to let anybody know this is what you're doing, but it's this consistency that you have. So you're keeping um, posts via your, um, your brand. If you're, if you're into yoga and once a week you're going to do something about yoga, meditation, and, and Zen, I mean, then that is going to be part of who you are. You're going to attach your market. So you could be saying, okay, I want to do different yoga poses in different parks across the, you know, the area, whatever, you know, you can see where you can then have a game plan. Okay. And I don't care if you take pictures of different parks doing yoga poses and changing in the car and doing all your pictures in one day, <laughs> at least you'd have a whole month's worth of that post. You could just need four different locations. You'd have four posts ready to go. Okay, so that's just to help you plan so you're being more active. So that's your social media planner. Um, I did another sheet for M&M. So Mark and I were talking about our Tuesday team time. We already know what we're gonna talk about next week. We might be getting the information for the following week. Right, so we're not just going, oh my gosh, I have to go live, and it's not stressful anymore. We can, re I'm gonna look in some articles, let's we'll see if we can find some information about that. You know, and we have time then to fill in our calendars where we need to. So this is all um, for social media and what you're, how you're gonna be tracking your social media. That was the next section. Any questions about social media tracking? Anything that you think should be added for social media? No? Good. So the next, so that was all these round tabs, you guys, these three round tabs. That was kind of my personal business and all that. The, the next section I have are, are different types of tabs. This is kind of in my mind that I see it differently. It starts off with our superstars. That's our group that we are merging founders. And so the, the what Suzanne and Christy and I are doing, we do a planning meeting on Sundays at 8 a.m. And it sounds like, oh my God, 8 a.m. But you know what? It's our quiet time. It's our time to work and figure out what, now we're, now we're planning two weeks in advance. And you know, we could probably meet next week and do the two weeks after that. And so we're gonna be ahead of the schedule. It's all here. I know, oh, I, I have an hour. I'm, I'm working on a really good training for Monday. And I, every day, can do a little bit of this training to help you guys for Monday, right? I have a whole week to do that. You can see why it's much, it's much easier to do it when you have planning. So our, our superstars is there. And anything to do with superstars, okay? So that way I have it in track and I don't have to go, oh gosh, where do I find the schedule and what do I do? It's all in one spot. Now, little semantics here I think of leads and I think of prospects this is a big part of our business and for me I had sticky notes I have business cards I have all different things people I meet on a regular anybody who's been with me out and about knows I meet people every day so when I just meet somebody and it hasn't really come to fruition like, they say they're interested but they haven't returned the call let's say right that's still a lead in my opinion it's, it's not a prospect yet. It's when we start to engage and we start to move them through the prospect sequence, that's where I differentiate it. So my lead sheet, and there's another little tracker, um, the date, the name, how you get in touch with them, how you met them, samples, you know, or a meeting, follow up, you know, it just has a tracker. It just helps you keep track of who, who you have. I've been very busy this last week, so, and it doesn't matter if you have it elongated like this. I have other trackers that are more like this. I don't care if there's a piece of loose leaf paper and you stick it in here because that's all you have. If you're meeting people and you write it down, it's one spot to look, ooh, who should I follow up with? Who do I need to get into the system? I just have to look one place, okay? Once they get into the groove, I'm starting a conversation, we're building relationships, I, I get to know their family and friends, and I, you know, I wanna write down more information, I have a potential section next to it. Now sometimes my potential section, here's a brand new potential, I have her business card here. Um, I met her at the woman's show, she said absolutely call me back, call me on Friday. So that's my note, I don't have anything here yet. Yes, she wants to hear from me, uh, you know, this was a clear cut. Yes, we need to communicate. It's more than a lead to me. I'm ready. 
Okay, so that's where these sheets will come in. So if I have a potential, if we have another flash sale, I go to this part like, hey, does this person need this flash sale? Will this help them? Leads, prospects. Make sense? This is a little bit more in depth for the prospects. I can tell you, hold on one second, I'm going underneath here. Not every lead prospect can be in one list. This is like the current ones. These are the hot ones. Right. I have a big binder, you guys, for all these other ones. They are alphabetical, you know, that I can just look them up and I have things. So I'm, this is just your everyday things I'm working on right now. A little bit different. There's going to be a spillover, you know, for our bigger binders, but we don't need to keep all of that with us. This is just our everyday binder. Like if I decide I'm trying to go to a coffee shop once a, a week and, and work from there, sets the intention, I'm out in public, people are starting to see me, I can bring this in my phone and a computer, right? That's much easier, it looks much more um, duplicatable. So that is prospects and team prospects. We have another great form because of Suzanne Krieger. This one is another one that you can just check off your activities. Did I slide, did I share a sizzle video with them, a hair testimonial group, a sample, follow-up, three-way call, events, did, am I building the relationship? So this is more when it turns more into a business prospect, when I, when I start tracking it a little bit differently too. You know, when you say like, you know, so which one resonated with you more, the VIP or a market partner? You know, from a scale to one to 10, you know, what did you think about it? Or what number, where are you at? If they tell you six or seven, you've got more questions to answer. You've got to feed them through a system. You've got to invite them to the next thing. You know, that's where this other prospecting um, sheet comes in. Ready for the next tab? The next tab is either kind of exciting because it's Cancun. Woohoo! So we have these little printouts in our back office. You could be keeping track of how close you are to Cancun. Now, granted, there is now a tracker in the back office, and that's fun to be able to look at that. I'm a visual girl. I want to see this, right? So I can see the checkoffs. Um, now what I'm doing with these sticky notes on this other side is I'm starting to keep track of my GV group that are gunning for it. So that I can say, hey, did you know that like, you just need two more market partners? to satisfy that and you know and you're already halfway through through your VIPs. Right? So I can keep track of my team as well. And then I made a note of exactly what I needed. You guys I need one market partner and sixty eight hundred dollars worth of uh, volume to to make it to Cancun for myself. And then then it's to earn mark. I wanna see this. And you better believe tomorrow morning when that number is a little bit different, I'm gonna cross that out and I'm gonna put the new total on the bottom. So somebody just asked if I'm tracking for Cancun. Uh, Amy, how, how are you checking for Cancun for your GV? Um, well, you have your GV. Hmm? There's a report. Right, you have your GV. There is a report on there. And it tells you what your GV is. <laughs> so that's how I know. Um, you also know what your GV is at the end of the month in your reporting. So I just, in the bottom here, I just write down what my GV is. Um, for February, March, April. So I just look at the GV at the bottom. Does that answer? And how do you see their customers? What report? Your cut. Oh, oh, oh. So um, in the back office, there is a Cancun report, and it, there's drop downs. And so you can, it will break down um, who the VIPs are. So we'll t I can see exactly who had VIPs um, and what the VIPs names are. So you notice in the beginning, I was writing down um, like myself, my VIPs or like who the market partner was and who their recruit was, who the VIP was and who the, re who the market partner was. So right now I know we have 31 VIPs. I just haven't gone back and filled this information in, but it, in the, until we had that report, I was writing everybody down. But now we have a report and you can see. Um, on this report, I was keeping track then of my team members and I can hashtag. So I want to see, you know, Allie's got seven, Ashley's got nine, this other person's got four, this person has three. So I'm keeping track of all that, of my GV group. 
um, but they have a checker for each person in your group, in your, um, they have a list of who is the VIP, who has gotten the VIPs. They have a list of market partners and who their sponsors are. So that's how we can tell that. So I hope that answered it. If not, pop in and let me know. Any other questions about the Cancun or the report? If you're not checking it, you guys, it's easier than you think. You know, it's easier to get it than you think. And it does just help when you have people that are gunning for the trip. And that's where our bringing in our new market partners have helped. And that's when I started tracking, you know, the people that are getting us there are, are more our new people, in my GB at least. That's what's happening. Okay, the next section is onboarding. And this is for market partner onboarding. So as you're recruiting people, there is, you can print up a list of all your market partners in your GV group. So if you're keeping track of like, okay, who do I have to get going? Who is, you know, I can't, I keep, I lose track a little bit. Um, okay, so it, it, it doesn't track it for them at the top, but you, you can see your GV group who has been doing what. Perfect. I'm so glad that works for you. Okay. So you can print out who your market partners are. Then you have your, their um, ID numbers and everything like that. There is an onboarding checklist, a master checklist here from corporate, from the back office. So that's kind of nice. But I also have another little tab. I love, I love office supplies, you guys. <laughs> if you didn't know that, um, one of my favorite little office supplies are these tabs that have stickies on them. And they're just flexible little tabs, so you can create your own little tab. So I have um, onboarding for each of my market partners that are in their fast start, are getting started, and I have a checklist for everybody. This is where I keep, I can have notes, I keep track, I'm understanding who their family is, their dynamics, and what you're trying to figure out their friends and, and um, relatives and, you know, the forum, occupation, recreation, what matters most. This information has to go in there, especially when you're onboarding. And then I have a separate checklist for each, sorry, there's a lot of for each market partner. So I can just go check, 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 and I miss anything. It helps keep me accountable. It helps us stay on track in our training and things like that. So I just have a section. Like ideally, I would love a whole separate notebook for that many market partners that I'm bringing on and having this. But you know, if you're each month, you could then put this into another binder. And these are the people you're currently working with and onboarding. So I usually keep them in here through the um, Start Smart. Okay, that's where by then, you know, then they're pretty, pretty much assimilated into the system. So that, you know, will be changing. Next section is VIPs. For my VIP list, it's a lot. So I just have it into this that I can pull it out. And I print off all of my VIPs. This way I have information. If I just want to look, I have their, their all their contact information right away. And then behind here are, are my new VIPs. Again, until I've onboarded them, I don't have an onboard checklist just yet. I'm working on something like that and just the protocol, but I want to get to know them. I want to, you know, what I've ordered and just so I can get used to who they are, they get used to me. I keep a check if I've sent them um, their welcome letter that sort of thing, their referral program, what their links are. So I have all that information. I have a backup of it on my phone too. Once they've become in my system, I put it there. But I can flip here so I don't lose track. If I, lo if I have it on my phone amongst all my new VIPs, um, I might lose track. The other thing I can do is on my vision sheet, once I bring in a new VIP, their names would be for that month up on my vision sheet. So that's, it's kind of a, a dual action. I don't want lots of notes though on my vision sheet. I can't keep, I can't keep focused on that, but I can do a single sheet behind here for my VIPs. So that's why I have it back here in the section under VIPs, okay? So you might have a VIP, um, I call them wins. Um, gosh, what it, want it now. So if there is an only for you product, let's say, and a client, you know, win, they want it now and it's not available, right? I have a list for, a, a win list for more than a missed. 
as soon as more than mist becomes available you guys i just have to flip to my list and my win they want it now right so those types of things might be something that you have in your vip group that's cool you could probably put if you have a vip um group on facebook you could do your schedule there if you're going to do certain things that could be part of your vip group there too okay so that's our vip section behind there you saw earlier i put the, the uh, product pack options those are sticking back here past this is our monthly um monthly numbers our monthly numbers this is another great forum we can credit to our wonderful suzanne krieger she she put this in and she did it for last year and i just kept going do you have one for this year suzanne i'm sure we can make one what is it i can't see it oh i'm sorry this was the income it, it is our monthly end earnings and we you did it for last for 2018 it had plenty of more spots so i just kept putting the dates on so it has your rank your unit level bonus, your PV, GV, DV, the net earnings, your group volume, your generational bonuses, your sales, your rank advancements, all your bonuses. It basically breaks down your, your commission check on paper so that you can look and I can just add up a column. Granted, we have this on the back office, but I get to look at a column and I know every quarter how much money I'm making, every, every year how much money I'm making. Um, you know, how much money I made in unit level bonuses. How did it compare? I can't wait. How, many, how did it compare from this year to last year? You guys, I've more than doubled my unit level bonuses looking at this from this year to last year. Woohoo, right? So um, that is, again, shows you signs of how you're progressing. So if, if we don't have one of these, it's a two pager. If we don't have one of these, we will definitely get it. But Suzanne, I'll make a note. We'll make a note because we definitely probably need a new one. I did not work on this one, but I have all the other forms for you. Hold on one second. Um, month and earnings report. So we'll get that. It's just a, a few columns, but I think it's important. And the last thing I have in my binder is another little, um, uh, this is a, what is it? a little pouch for receipts. So it's just one spot. I just keep my any loose receipts in here. Boom, 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 boom. You guys, anything that's doing with my personal business is in a half an inch. What do you think? I like it. Awesome. Any questions? Doesn't take a lot. It, but I sit down literally and I the first thing I do is I go to my vision. I, I think about my mantra. I think about what it is that I'm doing. How far uh, am I? And then the next thing is, okay, how far am I? I go in and I document my numbers. You know, based on what my goal is, what do I want to do? I look at the first thing in the morning. I look at Cancun. What has happened? What do I have to update? Where can I, well, how far do I have to be? You know, I am focused on these things, you guys. Anything that you put your attention onto will happen. It, it's just a law of, it's just, it's a law. <laughs> See, right? See that? It's just a law. But, a law. Um, and so we want to focus on the activities. We want to build that lead sheet. One other thing though, um, and I'm looking all over behind me. I have done a lot of networking just in the last week. So much so that I, <laughs> this is what I did. I separated my leads into three piles. I had an A pile, a B pile, and a C pile. Now granted, these are not in my binder yet. This is work in progress. The names are on my list, right? But I have information here. I still have to go through all the sheets that, that came to my booth. I still have to go through all the business cards that I, the people that I met. So it's okay if you overflow. This is a good problem to have. This is what I'm, this is what I'm working on. This, this pile right here is like the set pile. I want this pile to grow. <laughs> and that's just, that's just our goal, right? So I just, I put it in, in these envelopes so I could keep track because I was tired of little piles on my desk, but I can take this and put it in my binder and work from my A list. So that was a little bit of my extra. Um, one other extra thing I can tell you, there are forms here. I don't have a whole bunch of extra forms. What I did, I'm gonna reach over, this is all within reach. I have this other little binder that has little pouches in them. 
This is something I had for years and years ago. And so I can put my master forms. So here, I, oh, I filled out my form. I need more, more contact leads. Show here, look at that's my this is tomorrow's blank one. I'm gonna put it in here. Boom. Okay. And so you're you. Oh, I want to keep track of my multi of my social media. Boom. I have extra sheets here. You know, my onboarding sheets. Boom. So all my masters are in one spot. I only have to look for it. I don't necessarily know where in this book it is, but it's just in one spot. So that's my theory is if I can look at it one place and look within one spot, right. I'm better off. So anything to deal with my business, I can look in this one spot. Simple. We kept it simple. We're working on our personal business and our team. You know, those are the two things we're staying focused on. And um, I think it's pretty duplicatable. I am. I will get the links now that you know this. I will put the links up on both the EFP superstars of the different forms and as well as M&M. &M. But I'm available if anybody has any questions. I'm so glad you think it's awesome. That just warms my soul. I am going to take a little screenshot. Give me one second because we are just, because you know, we just gotta think it's just to get me out of the all together. Um, so that is what I do, you guys. Thank you so much for doing what you do, for just plugging in every day and just trying to get better every day um, because that's what we do. I, I, right now, I want you all to kind of look backwards for just a minute. Look back where you were a year from now. Think about your systems and even your own mindset of where you are right? We've come a long way, babies. <laughs> we really have. And we have so much to look forward to. We have so much good to go towards. So these things that we're doing, that, that we're implementing it every day, the activities that we're, we're in, investing in is investing in our future. It's just one step. It's that little slight edge. It's not perfect. And I'm okay with the system not being perfect. I'm willing to tweak it where it needs to be tweaked, as, and I want to say focus. I don't need it to be perfect. I just need to go to work, right? We just need to go to work. And so with further ado, get some good sleep because we've got lots of work to do tomorrow. We are going to change lives, starting with your own. I love you all. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you found value. Thanks for the kisses. And I'll talk to you all soon. Amy. Yeah. We all set? Thank you.